Look how adorable. I yeah. love these. Welcome back to my channel. So I figured I would start off a vlog, um, kind of like a haul slash vlog. Um, and I got a couple things in from the children's place. I ordered the kids some like summertime clothes. We also have a beach trip coming up um, in May. So we're super excited about. I grabbed some things for the kids. So I figured I would give you like a little haul on the stuff that I got. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm opening this stuff for the first time. So you get the first look with me. So I just opened the hat. This is a size 24 month to 3T. I thought this was super cute. My son's really into dinosaurs. Um, and I got him a little hat to wear for the summertime. So got him that. I also found these cute little sandals um, for my son. I hope these fit, they look a little big. They're size eight, nine, and he wears a size eight in tennis shoes. Oh yeah, they'll fit. They're super cute. Oh my gosh, look how adorable. I yeah. love these. Um, everything was on sale, by the way. I ordered, the only time I ever order from ch the children's place is when all their stuff is like um, either 50 to 75% off. So I got all this stuff on sale. I think I only paid total for everything. I feel like I'm missing some stuff. Maybe not, maybe I have everything here. I think it was like 140 for all the stuff that I got, so not too bad considering clothing is just getting expensive, but what is it? I, I, I'm just so excited to see my bathing suits. I bet, I bet they're going to look so cute on me. I bet they are too. So those want, are his shoes. I just want to try them on. <laughs> all right, and then we got some t-shirts. Let me go ahead and open these. I'm, instead of me, I'll just open up all the packages so it's easier. Okay, so... We got everything opened. All right, so here's a few little tank tops. We have the first one here that says "Be Kind." Super cute with little crisscross on the back. And I'm um, and I'm very kind. You are kind. And we have this one that says "Positive Vibes." So those came as a pack of two. Um, and then I have my son here in a bathing suit. Uh -huh. I knew. I just knew it. It was gonna be too big. Darn. I think the shirt will fit them too. I think the pants are going to be too big. Oh no, these tighten. Okay, good. Thank goodness. Okay, so I got these. Um, it's really cute, just dinosaurs. And then this top. I like the bright orange. It's so hard to find a bathing suit that is like bright colored. And I shared on Instagram that if you're shopping for bathing suits for your kids, to try to find them that are super bright, just in case there is an incident where they go to the bottom of the pool or something, you wanna make sure that you can see them. So I tried to find something that was as bright as possible. This is all I could find. He does have another shirt that is um, bright, his pants are bright. So um, hopefully that fits him okay. Okay, next up we have another little t-shirt for Kaden. Um, this one I really loved with the little fire truck, the ambulance, and the police car. I thought it was really cute. Um, and this is a size 3T. It's like a, it's black, but it's like gray, like a grayish black. It's not like super gray. I don't know. I like the faded look of that. So I got that for him. I grabbed my daughter a pair of new shorts. I really love the little rolled cuff shorts. They're super cute. And everything's super cute to me, <laughs> by the way. These are size six to seven, so. Oh, they have the band too, awesome. Okay, I love when pants have this little strap that you can tighten in case they're a little too big around their waist. So that is a must have for my kids. <laughs> Moving on, I got a pack of three t-shirts here. I believe this was like 17, or it was $15 for this pack. So you have this little t-shirt. Well, it says I love you. It just says love. Oh. The heart, it's really cute. And we have this one. Oh, I love this one. Does it? With the three whoa, butterflies. Whoa, I love that one. That glitter is like my dream, and I love the glitter. <laughs> I love that blue color. Okay. Oh, I like this one too. The little sunflower. Whoa, I with think the, I like the blue one better, and that one. This one's really, look at the little bumblebees and I the know, super so pretty. pretty. Super pretty. Okay, that. Let's see what else I have here. All right, we have 
Little Mermaid. This is like a little bit more of an oversized t-shirt. Just, I like that one. Do you like that one? Yeah, I love and the colorful. Purple Mermaid because purple is my favorite color. Super cute. I feel like I got her way more t-shirts. How did that happen? Well, no. Looks like you have a little bit more. I'll have to get your brother a few more. I think I accidentally, I did. Unless I have another package coming, which is a possibility. One, two, hold on, let me count these because I feel, I always feel like super guilty when I don't get the kids the exact same amount. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so this one is for my daughter as well. Little cupcakes, little, other little t-shirt, super cute. I already showed the mermaid one. Hold on, baby, don't mix them up so I don't get confused. Okay. Now I don't know if I shared this one yet. Yeah, I did. All right, so I ordered these shorts. They are not gonna fit my son at all. They're way too big. Um, I, I can fit in them. <laughs> baby, these are little boy shorts, but they do have the band where I can tighten them. I'll just see how long they are on him. Hopefully they fit. I love the belt that I came with. Um, they're really cute, but I think they're gonna be too big. So we'll see. All right, next up we have a three pack of these like summer tanks. We have a little dinosaur one with a little pocket. He, he is obsessed with dinosaurs. I know. We have this one with sharks. And more dinosaurs. And then that one with more dinosaurs. Um, I also, oh, I, think, I think I got them the same amount. This is one of my favorites. So we learned the dinosaurs. It just has a bunch of different ones on there. I love this color too. It's one of my favorites. And it looks really cute with a hat. Yeah. So I feel like he would, he would wear that. You think so? Okay, so I also grabbed some little pajamas. This is a little pack that I got. It came um, with two. It has a pair of pants that you can wear with the shirt. And it also comes with these little striped shorts with a little t-shirt to go with it. So those are some pajamas for him. And then the last thing I have here is this, uh, hold on, I feel like I gotta sneeze. I found out a trick that you can sneeze a little bit Just do it like that and you can't sneeze. Okay. So I found this really bright, colorful bathing suit. I really love this. I thought it was so cute. It says it blocks 99% of harmful rays. And I love that it's full coverage. Um, I just prefer that. So, got that for her. And last thing was a pair of little jelly shoes. You like those? Oh yeah, can I try them on? Yeah, we can try them on. Hold on one second, baby. I wanted to look. Did I get the wrong size? I haven't. Oh, they're Velcro. Oh. That's nice. That's easy yeah. for you to put on. Yeah. Hold on, let me show them real quick. So that's what they look like. All right, go ahead. Try them on, see if you like them. All right, so that's it for my little children's place haul. I do have um, a Sheen haul coming in and coming in for myself soon. That will be in around. Um, I think May 7th is supposed to be coming in, so I will share that with you in a separate video. It's just a bathing suit for myself, a little cover-up. Um, we all needed new bathing suits and like a few things for our trip, so we're super excited. Um, and the kids, like I said, needed some summer clothes to wear. I do feel like I, I ended up buying one. I need to count these because I don't like when I buy the kids not the same amount. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Mm hmm I don't know how I did that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I guess it kept it even. I think it's just because his stuff is so small. It just doesn't look the same. So, either way, um, I'm really happy with the clothes. They all feel like really great quality. Okay, so we're just hanging out um, up front. The kids are riding their bikes. And um, we're going to be making some dinner tonight. I ordered steaks the other day for a grocery order. Y'all, I got a whole grocery order in the other day. But I was editing when it came in and my husband brought it in and put everything away before I had a chance to do a grocery haul. So I was just like, you know what, it is what it is. Um, so unfortunately, there won't be a big grocery haul over the next couple or next week. I have a grocery haul that I haven't posted yet though, so I might just share that one soon. Gosh, the mosquitoes are so bad right now. Look at all of them flying around me. It's ridiculous. You can't even sit still out here. Wait hate mosquitoes. Why? Why can they not invent something that kills mosquitoes? 
all these darn inventions and all these vaccines. Give me one that's going to stop me from getting ate up. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's the next day. Um, we are working on homeschooling right now, and I wanted to share this with you guys. I actually seen this on Instagram the other day um, where this lady put... Um, a letter, like letters all the way down the wall. And then she took sticky notes and wrote those letters and stuck them all around the house. I see. So the kids could go find the letters and then place them on the right letter on the wall. So they're working on that right now and they're having a blast. I did some words. I did some letters, uppercase, lowercase. I just did a, bu a mixture of a bunch of different stuff. It's okay, baby. Do you got to teach him? You got to say, nope, that's the wrong one. Um, but see, they have it right here. On the, I didn't have any sticky notes, so I just used masking tape, and it's working just as good. Yeah, y'all work together. <laughs> but they're having so much fun doing that. I just wanted to share it. If that's some, if you're someone who has kids um, that don't like to really learn their letters and stuff, this is, I think, a great way to make it fun. And I just wanted to share it since I've seen it on Instagram. I thought it was pretty neat. If I can remember who shared it I will try my best to give her credit because I did not come up with this idea at all it was I just happened to find it when I was scrolling through Instagram and I thought it was a great idea uh, so before I get started I wanted to let me turn some lights on it's, it's dark in here right now there we go um so the door is just like this laminate coated wood stuff it's not um what do, what do you call this stuff I think it's just like laminated wood, so it needs to be sanded down a little bit before I can paint it. Yes, honey? Um, so I had already painted the back side, and I spray painted the knob on the other one. I'm going to like just tape all this off and spray paint it the best I possibly can um, because it's obviously in rough shape. So yeah, we're just going to roll with it and just see what happens. I mean, worst case scenario, I'll repaint it. No big deal, right? Um, this tape is still here from when I painted the front of the door. So all this can come off and I can get started. Okay, so first thing that I need to do is get myself together because I feel... I have been so, so unmotivated recently. Um, I'm trying to get out of that, you know, stage again. It just happens every month. So, I'm just trying to get <laughs> out of it, um, but I, I definitely hit my unmotivated days, and I have been having a rough three days. I don't know what's going on. Well, I know what's wrong, but it just, it sucks when you get in those moods, because like, I'll be doing so good and so productive, and I'll get so ahead, and then that time of the month rolls around, TMI, not really TMI, it's part of life, but um, I starting to feel like unmotivated again and I just kind of get behind again. My laundry's piled up. Like, what's new? What's new? What am I just going to accept the fact that I'm not good at laundry? <laughs> um, but my laundry's piled up. The house is a complete disaster. I showed you guys that uh, clothing haul from yesterday. I never put any of those clothes away. They're all piled up on the counter still. I got dishes that need to be put away. I'm just a mess. I'm a mess. Our house is a mess. I'm a mess. Everything's a mess. But it's okay. We are going to tackle things one at a time but I really need to get this door painted <laughs> really really do because it's driving me crazy I'm not a fan of this color of wood I don't think it's a bad I don't think it looks bad but I think it would look better darker in my house for my style so I'm gonna paint it and I am eventually going to redo the table in here too um, just a hair or two darker, not anything crazy. I just want to like darken it up so that way it matches that better because right now it's more light and that is more the color I want. <sighs> so yeah. Also this morning we had a huge orange juice spill all over my brand new rug that I just got. So that was a little um, upsetting, <laughs> but it's fine. Accidents happen and I cleaned it up. Our shampoo was great, sucked it all up and we're good to go. So yeah, I have to put the shampoo away. I have just so much to do, and I'm sitting here talking. <sighs> so we're going to tackle this in three, two, one. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me.
right, y'all, I'm ready to get started. I have my paintbrush, my roller, and my paint. So this is the paint that the Lady at Lowe's recommended. It is the Valspar Ultra Interior Paint and Primer. Um, it says it's everyday washable. Uh, stains wash off with ease, protects against scrubs, walks, walks, <laughs> marks, and wear. <laughs> um, so yeah, and it's just a black. I didn't pick out the black. I just told her I wanted a satin black, and this is the color she gave me. It says right here on the top that it's base C. I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that is, it says Tinter B. Tinter B, one gallon size can, manual formula, inter, inter I'm done. <laughs> That's what I got. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the door. I did sand it. I wiped off all the dust. I'd already painted the handles so I can just like trim around those. And we're gonna just go for it. I'm take this off. Hold that off. Let me take this off real quick. You were my best friend. Didn't care about the rules. Good on the weekends. I'll be in fools drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. We were just broken, shattered, singing along to nothing matters. First coat is done. It's looking good. I'm just going to let that dry really, really well and then do a light sand and paint again. Okay, so taking a little break. Um, had the first coat done on the door and I really like it. I think it looks really pretty. It's just, it's different. You know, it always takes time to get used to things that are different. So um, I will just keep going and finish it off. I need to like redecorate the space around it. I don't like the lamp being there. Do you want a treat? You are so cute. Zoe came to say hello. Say hi, Zoe. You just want this piece of bread. I'll take that. Thank you, ma'am. Oh my gosh, I was so ready. Hey, little. Hey, little. Hey, baby. Um, but anyway. I, it's growing on me. It's a little different. It's going to take some time to get used to. But I, while it's drying, I'm going to go ahead and go get in the shower and get myself looking decent. I look like a hot mess. <laughs> Who cares, right? I'm at home. No one can see me except for you guys. And, um, are you on the chair? Are you on the chair? When did you decide that that was a good idea? No, you can't do that. That's naughty. That's bad. Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. You're not being good right now. <laughs> I just love you. Hey, do we do that? I don't think we do that. I love you. No. I think everyone loves you, Zoe. Oh, Weddle, I hear you down there. Weddle, come here. Come here. Hey there, Weddle. Hi, Weddle. Hi, 
Oh, hi, honey. We can't forget about honey bunny. There's my honey bunny. Now I'm just going to go ahead and start tackling some of this mess and putting some of this stuff away. So we're going to get some cleaning done while the door dries, and then we'll work on the second coat. Jump into the car on a Friday night. I want to drive with you. Looking for a bar in the nearest town. I've never seen a sky so blue. to be yours semi-clean it's not perfect but it's getting better um, the living room's really not too bad I just gotta put the shampooer away there's nothing really wrong in here um, but the door definitely needs another coat it is like super patchy um, but it looks really good so far it's not like peeling or bubbling and I don't see any like major concerning issues so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on that second coat So I am dressed for the day, did my makeup and my hair. I have, I feel much better. I always feel better whenever I get myself dressed. It just makes me feel good. And then when my husband gets home, it's like, oh, that's who I married. <laughs> um, I'm just joking. He loves me for me. But anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and decorate right here next to the um, door and then show you guys a little reveal. Can you get off my back? Can you get off my back, ma'am? All right, y'all. So the door is finished. I'm about to show you how everything turned out. I kind of cleaned up a little bit. Not really, though. I just took everything off the table and put it over there on the island. And just so I could give you like a clean look at everything and how it's supposed to look. Um... But yeah, I love the way they turned out. I don't recommend that paint, though. Do not buy the Valspar Paint and Primer Mix. I don't know what is wrong with that paint, but it is not working well. Um, I did everything I was supposed to do for this door, at least in my opinion. And it's not, I don't know. It's not that it's not holding up. It's just different. It's, I guess because I'm just so used to painting with chalk paint. Maybe that's what it is. I'm just not used to it.
right, so here is a quick little overview. I love the door. It just, I feel like the details right here in the center just stand out so much more than they did before, like when it was all brown. I do have to do a lot of like white trim painting and stuff, so that's gonna be for a different video. Um, and then I just painted this vase black, put some greenery in there, kept it super simple. But I love it. I think it looks really pretty. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching and hanging out with me today. Um, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know.